Hello, Mark here. What? Someone stole my car? Frick! Fudge! Dang it! Shoot! You better catch that son of a gun. I am so flipping mad. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about swear word substitutes. Swear word substitutes. What does this word here mean? Substitute. What's a substitute? Well, a substitute is something that takes the place of something else. Okay, let's say you're making tea for yourself in the morning and you want to add some sugar into your tea but you ran out of sugar. You have no more sugar. So you need to find a substitute. Ah, I'll put some honey in my tea to sweeten it. Okay, so honey is the substitute. You're substituting honey for sugar. Okay, that's what substitute means. Now, swear words are bad, right? So sometimes, in some situations, um, you want to use a swear word, but it's maybe it's not appropriate. So there's other words you can use to take the place of a swear word. Uh, and those words are much better. They're not offensive. Well, at least they're not as offensive. Okay, so let's take a look at some here. Dang. Okay, dang or darn or dang it, darn it. You'll hear these words a lot in English. These are some good swear word substitutes. I think you know which swear word this is substituting for. Okay, frick, fudge, flip. Again, I think you know which swear word these words are substituting for. What about this? Shoot, shite, Shucks. Okay, these are also swear word substitutes. Okay, this one is very close to the swear word shite. <laughs> okay, son of a gun. You son of a gun. I don't know where this term came from. Gun? Son of a gun? It, it doesn't really make sense, but it's in place of son of a... You know which word it is. Okay, golly, gosh, good grief. Okay, here are some words that can replace the word God. Okay, there are some swear words that uh, use religious things. Now, I would highly recommend that you don't use uh, any sort of religious swear words, anything involving God or Jesus. I mean, you might, uh, you know, you might be new to the English world. You might come to Canada and you might hear those words a lot. But you know, there are a lot of religious people uh, in Canada and all around the world that, that, that really love their religion. So when you use words like that, you're sort of offend, you're offending them. You're, you're sort of criticizing their religion. Okay, so I don't think anybody should should try to offend another group. And actually those words, like the religious swear words, they can be the worst words because people's religion is so personal to them. Okay, so I would strongly recommend you never use uh, those kinds of swear words. It's much you know, better to use other, you know, the normal swear words. If you want to swear, just use those words, don't use those words. Or you can use these words here, golly, gosh, good grief. Okay, you hear these words all the time, even from religious people. Okay, religious people use these all the time as well. Okay, so let's do some homework. I want to know, do you use swear word substitutes in your language? Do you have words like frick, golly, shizzle. Like there, there's so many swear words and swear word substitutes. You know, <laughs> shizzle my nizzle. What the fudge? Uh, you know, mother trucker. 
Mother, you mother trucker. Okay, this, this just, there's an endless list. There would be hundreds and hundreds of swear word substitutes in English. Um, you'll probably be able to hear them uh, when you're in that situation. But I want to know, in your language, do you have words like that? Let me know down there in the comments, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. And hey, I made uh, another lesson. Uh, my last lesson was on swear words. So if you want to know the real swear words, I'll put the link right over here. Okay, take care.